Mildred Flint, and I'm uh, the daughter of a Marie Melichick. I'm 101 years old. My I beat my mother. She was 99 when she died, oh, and I I never thought I'd ever live, live this long. My great grandfather <laughs> okay. was Vaslav. Okay. My grandfather was Wenzel. My father was Wesley. My older brother is Wesley. Okay. His son is Wesley, and his son is Wesley. Okay. Everybody's <laughs> in the family then. Okay. So. Yeah, it's a family tradition mm -hmm. with the Wesleys or the Voslavs. Mm -hmm. We read stories and read, but when I taught, I taught the first grade, and so what do I know? I'm not qualified to teach, and they just needed somebody. So I had the first grade. We did the colors in the days of the week, and well, that's about the, the thing alphabet. Well, what was she? Yeah. No. But you know, I spoke Czech, and so to me, that was all. When I went, that was all old because we talked to that home. Mm -hmm. and it had um, a main floor, a second floor, and a library. And the, in the library was a stage. That's where we had our programs. And Vilma said that's where she went all summer long, yeah. and on Saturdays in the wintertime. Yeah, the uh, women, Czech women, uh, held afternoon apron dances, dances and card parties and uh, that's how the school got started. I also clearly remember in the first two summers I was there, 1972-1973, and that those were the two years that we actually did the Czech school program at the CSPS Hall. Oh, okay. And we were upstairs in the CSPS Hall and I remember that whole area up there still set up the way it had been from when it was first designed as the Czech Social Hall up there. You know, I mean, it still had the horseshoe. The horseshoe balcony I know was still up there because my older brother Matt had gone. We both started Czech school the same year, uh, but he was a year older than I am. So uh, I remember as little kids up there before the program started, I remember we, we'd run around the horseshoe balcony okay. at the CSPS Hall, so I, I remember the very, you'd go up the little steps and you could go to the horseshoe balcony, and then of course we performed on the stage, and in those days the stage at CSPS had um, glass block windows underneath the front of the stage, mm -hmm. and I think they had lights that backlit the glass block windows, you know, I don't know if it was neon or some other kind of light and so forth, and I got the impression that that was the way the auditorium and the stage had looked probably since they did kind of a remodeling of the CSPS building, we all think that was done back in the set in the 50s probably, mm -hmm. when they put in all the glass block windows on the outside and they mm -hmm. painted the building white and mm -hmm. green and so forth. And I remember the old bar was still in there at the CSPS Hall. We do our program in the auditorium, then off to the side where they now have a bar again. I remember mm -hmm. all of the adults would be in there you know, okay. having drinks while we were doing the Czech school program. Do you remember some of the songs? Well, yeah, this well, guy would remember them all. No, no I'm not going to say no. that. <laughs> oh, you got to tell her about that one. No. Come on. No. Cause I never, Lee would sing it with me. Because I never, I never heard that one. Well, I only heard your version. I don't even, I, yeah, but I don't know the right word. It was like, sleep on Yinky, stinkly, tea, sleep on Yinky, skip, scoop, scoop, a doop, stinky, linky, inky, dinky. But I didn't know the rest of it, so I said, eat, go, bang. <laughs> Both of you, are, are you too young to remember the Depression, or... Um, well, I was a Depression, too, yeah, I, I, I was born, and 
my, I remember distinctly as, as I grew older, I was aware that my folks were very stringent. Frugal, thrifty. Thrifty, mm -hmm. because they, it was nickel-dime time. My dad had a and grandfather were working at Quaker Oats. Thank goodness it was a food pro processing, and they had the jobs. There were no jobs okay. available. Yeah. And oh, they so, kept their. They were able oh, to yes, keep their. Oh yes, all mm -hmm. the way through the depression. Mm -hmm. And uh, so, and then they they grew. My my folks had a big garden: chickens, rabbits. Uh, uh, well, they grew potatoes and tomatoes uh, yeah, we, and we'd beans. We'd get uh, we'd get uh, fifty chicken chick chickens chicklets. Mm -hmm. Well, you, you had that and little then, and building uh, and the fenced in yeah, area for the chickens. And we'd raise the chickens, mm -hmm. they'd give us eggs, and then they'd butcher them and eat them. Yeah. And then next first 12 years of my life, there were three meat markets, two drug stores, but four grocery stores, two bakeries. It was a true Czech village. Mm -hmm. Basically that, um, you know, that from being involved in Czech school, one of the things that I've come to understand is that I am just one of many and I'm merely a current generation representative of what has um, sustained and been nurtured over many, many generations. So, one of many. So you said the, the woman seated in the dark uh, in Mrs. the middle. Zivney, right there. Mm -hmm. And then you are marked on there, it says Bob. Yeah, Mom, mm -hmm. that was Mom's writing. Mm -hmm. There's, uh, that's Chuck Sussek. He was a character, wasn't he? Yeah. Sussek? C-A-C-E-K. And he had a brother, Vince. Vince, Vince was in my class. Vince is right over here. And then this is Arnie Fields. He lived up there, on. And this is uh, Ferdick, Bob Ferdick. Ooh. Right here. And this is the... Uh, oh, oh, God, he's there. Oh. <clears throat> I used to see him all the, he had this tavern, he had the taverns on the 16th Avenue here. Plus? Chuck. Remember they had a tavern? Right here on the corner, that was burnt, they took it down? Right over here where the parking lot is? Bully Jack. Oh, oh Bully Jack. Bully. Bully. Oh. Chuck <laughs> Bully Jack, Bully. Yeah, we're good friends. Do you remember, did you say you, you learned Beva Vala? Beva Vala, Beva Vala, Beva Vala, Dobre.